I mean, I've graduated, but a nigga is, is jobless, not out of choice, but out of situations. When Corona hits, nothing to do. No sports, no business, nothing. There are some machines which have come to replace the work uh, of those people who are in this industry. 38.9% of youths in Kenya are unemployed, while 20.9% of those working are actually underemployed. Max Miller Njue, uh, professionally I'm a sales and marketing officer, currently working for Royal Paints. On the side I am a sound engineer. I'm also a basketball player, prospecting professional basketball player, still working towards it. So my name is uh, Benson Vinyanya Karioki. Uh, I'm a former student in Karumo Technical Institute uh, back in Meru. I'm a student who pursues uh, a diploma in building technology. My name is Joshua Buto. Um, I am a software engineer, graduated class of 2020 uh, from the University of Texas at Arlington. Um, did high school in Kenya, uh, Ken Academy, and then did a bit of university in Wisconsin and transferred and finished in Texas Arlington. Most children dream of going to university or college to pursue different careers. The child I was, of course, is a child I wanted to become a pilot, a doctor. That was before I actually realized that you had to study to become a pilot and a doctor. Some careers that have been chosen for them by their parents, while others careers they thought they were expected to pursue by the society. And you know, people are like, oh, since you're the only like the closest person to engineering, why don't you just do civil engineering so you can take over the company? <laughs> Let's just say, <laughs> that did not last long. And as these young people join college or universities, they already have these expectations built in their heads, from stories they've heard to books they've read and movies they've watched. More often than not, these expectations are usually just false and pretty much unrealistic. You know you expect a lot of partying. <laughs> The first thing that I got when on my orientation days or whatever, people were being recruited for fellowship groups. <laughs> well, these expectations are not just about the social spectrum, but also class-wise. Most of these people end up leaving school unsatisfied with what they learned in class. I taught myself everything yeah. that I know pertaining sound engineering. I didn't go to any school. I didn't get any type of training. I, I, it is self-taught, you see. So if I can teach myself that, and I can sell something in the market, then I have both of what I'm doing currently without the degree, you see. So I will get to save on time, I will get to save on money. So basically, I can say I really needed the, the knowledge, but even if there was no school, if I could have gone to a very nice uh, industrial company, I could have really gotten something even much more than what I could I got in school. Those things I could have learned on my own. I could have gone to YouTube, I could have gone to Coursera, I could have done in Udemy. Like, there was really nothing that was being added. Besides me going through the four years saying that I have a bachelor's degree, overrated. Like, Expectations aside, life in college can sometimes be very hectic and difficult, leading some to college quits. So for these that do end up finishing school, do they ever think of quitting at any point? Uh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Uh, uh, well, I, we thought of, I, I thought of it. I, I'm going to lie to you. Like. Yes, so many times. Definitely, yes. 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 I used to think about quitting and... Uh, doing other jobs, going and finding work to do, because, man, this education is, it's, it's hard. Yes, it's very, very hard. But I can tell you, that's one fact, man. If you go to school uh, kindly, uh, just know what you're going there to do, because if you start mixing up things, uh, then you'll probably quit. And just after graduation, when these guys think that the worst is over, they never really know what awaits them outside. I don't have a job, but maker. Come rain, come sunshine. I need to have a job by 1st of June because I can't be broke. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. But by, by the time July, in Likuja, I went back to, I, I started like applying. I had no responses at all. Now, you have 90 days of unemployment. 
the whole month of July, I am hearing nothing. First week of August, at least start hearing people getting back to me, but nobody's giving me an offer. I'm telling you, I got employed like one and a half months before my unemployment days ran out. During this uh, time of uh, Corona, people again are being sacked. Mm -hmm. uh, jobs are lacking. So we tend to think beyond. We use our creativity because if you go out there, uh, we are not being accepted. Even if you are doing an intern or even an attachment, you are not being paid. But uh, the workers there or the boss is using your advantage of you being there. So I worked uh, for around three months, but uh, at the end of it all, uh, the way I was treated, uh, it was a bit different because I was the only uh, Kikuyu in my, uh, as a student in, our, in my school. So there was so much uh, rebellion, there was so much hate. Uh, so I decided that uh, I should just leave the job but because you cannot work at a place where you are being uh, criticized because of your uh, tribe. So when reality actually hits them, what do they think about? What do they reflect on? And what exactly keeps them grounded? That's, that's the basic issue. Like, that mentoring is very important. If you have somebody who can help you through, like thinking through the whole process of fitnessing all the way till you are, you are stable enough. Ah, it's the passion that I had in art. Looking back, do they think it was all worth it? The financial burden, the long period of time, the toil on their mental health, was college really worth it? Uh, did it meet my expectations? I think it did, but I feel, I feel like the four years was overrated. It wasn't worth it. I, I, can, I can say for sure it wasn't worth it. Like, some of the experiences are good. Like the things that you actually need to mm -hmm. go through life, right? Some shit you actually need to go through life to actually mature yourself. But I wish I did it under my own terms because I feel like I did it under my parents' terms to some extent. Because if I took my gap year, I'd have had a scholarship and I'd have, I wouldn't have worried too much about money, right? But in the sense that I've now graduated with a ton sheet of debt, like it's like pretty much. Uncle Ken, Uncle Kenyatta was <laughs> Uru Kenyatta was basically sponsoring me with the loans from from China, you know, and like you know putting them on me. Like the amount of debt I collected was not worth the four years. I can tell that for free. The biggest skill that I got from campus was obviously my degree, which is what I am employed for right now. Uh, we were doing more theory other than uh, practicals. There are so many machines, but uh, when we come out here, we when you go to school, we don't use them. So it, uh, it's difficult to see and uh, to maneuver how you can be able to work with these uh, operators. Kwa sababu wadi ni kienda pale kwa industry ya ujenzi, na ambuwa ni kuwa mtu wampono. So I really lack a lot of uh, experience uh, out here because people are not uh, ready to see what you can be able to do. What they do is they make you to do uh, casual work, you'll be a laborer uh, where there is no much experience. Finally, what do they wish was done differently? What do they think they would have done differently? All you need to know, all, all you need to know how to do is learn how to code, right? Like for me, once you know how to code and become program mm -hmm. and make all these things, in school they don't even teach you how to code. That's the worst part, like you learn all this theoretical stuff. And then you go to the yeah. industry, they teach you how they do what with their stuff. So there's literally like, I'd have to go to a boot camp and learn and learn how to code better than I did in, in, in college, right? So it was only until after graduation that I realized how useless the four years were. Because after four years, I realized that I wish I learned more about like business or like entrepreneurship mm -hmm. or like do something that is not helping me get employed. Because at the end of the day, I'm not trying to be employed. I mean, yes, I need to be employed, but like in my lo lifelong goal, I'm not trying to be employed. I'm trying to make money, right? I'm trying to make money so that my money can allow me to be able to have an impact on my community, whatever it is, right? So regardless of whether I am coding, whether I am starting a business, whether I'm doing whatever, right? Money has to be made regardless. So I wish they told us about that. I wish they told us about like how to manage our money, how to be disciplined. Like there's there's so much. I wish I knew about how to manage my money.
because I was not taught about that. I wish I said how loans work. Like nobody teaches you that shit. Like life teaches you that stuff, and it's that. That's the worst way to learn it. When life is teaching you, that is the worst way to learn it. Okay, if I was really aware, and if I was really told about how college is, or how college life is, mm-hmm. I wouldn't have gone through the same, or I wouldn't have gone through all of that. I would have just find someone who would have uh, take me through the industry, teach me how to do it, then uh, boom, I go on with, because college life is very hectic, we've been given uh, a lot of things to do, which are uh, necessary, they are not uh, helping us out here. So if I really gotten the chance to be explained how college is, I wouldn't have gone through all of that. But don't go, don't go to university th- thinking you only want to hang out with like your age mess, don't worry about adults. You always need to have an adult in your life somewhere at one point in time, like, because they've gone through some shit. Like, even if you don't respect them, they've always, people older have gone through some shit. It's good to learn from them. And that's, I think that's, that's a good point right there.